we're here again. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I hope you're doing well. It's Saturday, and it is part of the uh, thing where I have three days of play remaining. Very exciting. Um, which we won't be renewing until I stop playing other games and actually have time to, uh, to give this one my full attention. But for now, I'm taking advantage of the return campaign, and we're going to keep moving through Endwalker as much as we can. So, it'll be good. I got myself uh, everything I need for a nice long gaming session. I have a bottle of, well, about, hmm, about a third of a bottle of a two liter hojicha tea, and a Pepsi, and some goldfish, the pizza flavored, and a Charleston chew. So, I'm pretty good. I, I got everything I need. All right. I just wish I didn't have to listen to the cracklies in the uh, Elgato capture card. Anyway, though, um, so last we left off, um, we were helping rabbits. Not to be confused with rabbits, but rabbits. And also remembering how to play. Because I've yet to actually do any uh, anything real with my Dragoon, I guess. I mean, you know, I've been doing regular rotations, but we haven't done a duty yet. Forgot about Sonic Thrust. Such a fun looking skill. Very good. Uh, okay, so he's up there. Let's go up Mia. A drooling labyrinth. Oh, carrot, my carrot. The prize we sought is one. Carrot of happiness. Oh. Carrot of happiness. They're serving carrots of happiness today. Go get some, dude. They're drugged. I mean, they're um, extra nutritious. Why is this still true carrot crimes? Search for the iron carrots. I mean, I would assume that the carrots would be in one of these containers, perhaps? Maybe not? Take some weird lag. I mean, it's probably in that one, right? Hey, there's something suspicious. A nibbled iron carrot. Tragically abandoned. Unleash the full fury of a dragoon on him. Philosopher's carrot. Do we have to question if this one exists or not? Do I have to interact with every single one of these, I wonder? Philosopher carrots really hit the spot. Just a few more. I'm not seeing there's a mine. Are they? 
You suspect this is not your carrot culprit. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Still a little bit suspicious. Is there a rabbit up here? Eating by chance? I'm mixing ways here. Look at him go. Look at you go. Tiny, adorable, probably slightly stupid. Another carrot. Hmm. Wait, no, didn't I? Did I already see these? Yeah, because the guy was up here. I mean, I'm highly suspicious of this center one just because it's so big. Oh, but there's stuff over there too. Huh. Oh. I'll look in a bit. Let's see. So the latest episode of uh, My Hero Academia came out. And Togo was semi heavily featured just at the start of it though they didn't get into like the full battle with her and everything just like a bit of it so but she had some good uh there's some good screenshot worthy posts of her posts frames frames screenshot worthy frames of her and uh her like evil smile very cute i don't know man yandere's they're, they're pretty cute sometimes. You gotta, you have to find the right kind of yandere though. Like you don't want one that's actually going to murder you. You just want one that will murder for you. Very important difference. So the subtype. Carrot supporter. Yeah. Tell me more. Insufficient stock of iron carrots. Uh, I am not a carrot, my friend. Suppose we can do the true thrust or path now. Or the four fold. fold. So it wasn't a bunny. Southeast. Uh, I wonder if that's in the corner or if that's outside of the compound or residential district thing. Hmm. I've had that way kind of, but deal with the other stuff too. Have you brought any snacks? Yeah, dude. Brought some carrots of happiness. Enjoy, my friend. Okay, one more there. I guess I'll, I'll do a loop. I'll start with the top one, then work south. And check to see if there's an aether, aether current as well. I just want to say aether. Even though I know it's ether. I think I see you. Kind of worried that that guy's gonna target me. But worry might be a strong word. I'm not that concerned. But it would be a minor inconvenience to be delayed in that way. I guess that's what I wanna say. Hello. Take the square root to the, wait, what? Hold on, wait, no, no, what did you say? 
Take the square root of the roots. This man is mathing carrots. All right. Projections for optimal care production based on the total population of Atheos to ensure that... Never mind. <laughs> All right, dude. Have fun. Such a nice, relaxing place this is. Truly. Everything's accounted for. Seems almost to have our workers consume so many carrots just so that we can produce more carrots. But that's the problem. Can we sell more carrots? Yep. Right you are, buddy. Right you are. <laughs> You're back! Please tell me you found the carrots. I did. Session complete. That's racy. Huh. Recall the technicians that's about enhancing its co with a love for carrots to increase work efficiency. Huh. It loves the carrots too much. So it's southeast even from here. Which makes me think that it's in this direction. Or maybe it's in the hopper's hold. Let's go take a look. Man, how much oil do you think these things use to stay greased? What do they make the oil from? Is it like bunny sweat or something? Like what? How? Hmm. the southeast if I had to guess I would assume that it's up above but I could be wrong boosting way <laughs> wonder if he likes f-zero To the south. Just to the south, not the southwest. Hmm. Gosh, this place is massive. I mean, even for the watcher, this place seems too large. Like, I mean. You, you can fit a city in here, you know? 187 yelms to the south. I don't know. I see you, Destination. And I raise you one quick look around. 78. To the southeast. Yeah. I, I just want to go get this because I assume that we're probably going to end up riding the dog. And that could be an invalid assumption. To the east. So it's up there. Right? Northeast. Yeah, okay. So I got to go up and around. Uh, maybe I should have gone to the destination after all. Gene Walker. To the north from here. Right. So is that the engine then? Like what we're seeing there is the propulsion just like gently lifting things off or is it just exhaust from the system working, you know?
southwest. Over there. I can't help but think of Mario Odyssey, though. <laughs> Just like a like cathedrally castle thing on the moon. I can't help it. To the west. 153. So it's over near that crack, maybe? Northwest. Is it in the crater? It would make the most sense to me if it's in here. Aha, it is. Sweet. Six hundred six to the southeast. Okay, I'm gonna go do the. I'm gonna make the the, the quest continue. The main story quest. Man, it must be something to uh, to work through this type of stuff, you know. Am I going the right way? I think not. Like, I mean, I'm not talking like code, which maybe might be what one would assume given my inclinations, but like the story and stuff, like, it's gotta be interesting, right? Like, you get a bunch of writers and like they're throwing out ideas for what, what the story should do, like get an outline and then like start filling in blanks and going back and forth, like, the revisions are the things that get me, I think, that would be the hardest part of, like, if you want to change something somewhere, making sure to deal with the repercussions of that across, like, the entirety of the story to make sure things still line up and that there's not plot holes or other weird things. I don't know. It's crazy. Hi, Argos. It's uh, sitting pretty, huh? Boing, boing. All right, let's see what Urian J is up to. It's a sneaking mission. Why is he being sneaky about this, though? I, I don't understand. Duty commenced. Isn't this more like Thancred's thing? Pay no mind to the Chocopo. Nothing, elf man. Oh shoot, it's running now. My is automatic. Shit. 
yes off the matter. I just followed you and failed. Dang it. I wonder, do you think you can mount while you follow him? <laughs> so I could follow him on my little sleeping bed. Or on this. Like blaring the music. But yeah. Sneak behind her, Yanje. <laughs> Attempt to follow. Uh, yeah, all right. I will. I'll do my best. So, is this like the distance you're supposed to maintain? So he basically is going to stop after each walkway, right? To turn around. And then um, he'll run during this next segment, it looked like. Give us two set of rocks. I wonder, am I supposed to stay behind this set? Oh, you fuck. Don't you say it. You can't see me. Okay, he's gonna turn around again, right? Second type's of charm. All right, astrologian, fess up. What are you doing? Thine arrival is timely as ever. Thou didst chance to overhear my conversation with Living Way, I presume? Yeah, but why is your audio choppy? One second. Give me a moment. I'm just gonna uh, look for things to close. <laughs> okay, hold on, sorry. This is mildly ruining of the moment, but the moment hasn't started yet, so it's fine. Let me, let me just tell you about something, okay? So I went and I ate lunch today, and whilst I ate lunch, I was by myself for the most part. And then this other couple came in, like an older couple, and they were talking to the owner about how their daughter uh, married a Vietnamese guy and uh, that they loved this place and they recommended it. So they came to uh, to hang out and eat and such. And I was like, oh, cool. Like I, I was just overhearing this while I was reading. And they're like, oh yeah, you know, like she's 26, yada, yada, yada. Um, and then like 20 minutes later, they're still eating. I'm still reading and eating and uh, then her, their, their son in law and their daughter come in, and I look up because they make noise, etc. And the girl is wearing shit like this. I had to draw a picture so I could send it to my friend because I'm not gonna take a picture of a random stranger. Um, but like she was wearing like high waisted orange booty shorts, and then a like tied off open top with like pastel color things on it that was exposing her entire bra. And basically, like, if her bra wasn't on, her, they, they, they would have been out there. And she was talking, and she was talking to the uh, the owner, who's like a 60-year-old Vietnamese woman at the counter, standing next to her boyfriend, or her husband, sorry, and just leaning over 
like the thing on the right. And it's like her entire ass was hanging out. And I'm, I'm like, I'm just trying to read, man. I'm not trying to get like an e-thought to show, but there it was. And I was just like, uh, uh, huh? And so I, I, I like looked over, got confused. And then, and admittedly I got confused because her face was very similar to one of my friends. So I thought it was one of my friends. So I was gonna say hi for a second. And I was like, oh wait, no, that that's not her. So anyway, I'm, it was just closing paint because that was that was open so I could show my friend. Um, let me close a few more things. <laughs> let me close a few more things. Uh, what else can I close? We don't need the Internet Explorer open because for some reason it's still the default browser even though I use other browsers. Um, let's see, do I have, we can close a couple tabs, maybe, maybe Chrome will give us back some memory. That would be really cool. Um, we'll see. Okay. Okay. We'll close that. Uh, we don't need Stasher open because I'm not saving anything from YouTube right now. Uh, we need Steam open because we're doing this. Okay. And yeah. Okay. I think that should help. I hope. I don't think there's anything else I can close. Okay. Indeed I did. It was not mine intent to move in shadow. Nevertheless, I have been asked to do that and more yet again. Have you though? I'm confused. Is it so plain that these strangers could intuit it at a glance? My capacity for silence and secrecy? And duplicity? When Grahatia did contrive to deliver the first at the price of his own life, I was complicit in the scheme. A sacrifice averted for a mercy. Would that I could say the same for Minfilia. One life for one world. And by that bloody bargain brokered by my hand were the scions robbed of a dear comrade and Flamine, her beloved daughter. Two souls whose selflessness was beyond measure, whose resolve was unshakable. They would not be moved even had I thought to protest. That protest I did not. Far from it. I pushed them forward. No effort did I make to seek out alternatives, ones that would not demand such terrible costs. That resignation weighs heavy on my mind, as does the memory of another lost to mine inaction. Dearest Moonbreather, who did face death unflinching that we might secure a means to bring low the Asians. In her hour of need, I did naught. Dutiful disciple of Louisois, ever looking to the greater good. Had I shut mine eyes and bid her live instead, mayhap she would be with us today. Selfish wants born of everlasting regrets. Most days I put them from my mind, but could think of naught else when asked to swallow the same bitter draught. Subterfuge and sacrifice. Mayhap the right moral choice, but one I regard with great trepidation. The calamity of Amorot was a tragedy beyond reckoning, one which must never again come to pass. Thus must we struggle, haunted by ghosts of those we have lost, clinging to those we pray we can yet save. But what of those we cannot? How do we make peace with the dreadful algebra of necessity? Oh. 
so that's not right. So. Would we have the time? Would we have... Would that we had time to weigh the cost? It's a very Urian J way of saying it. Sometimes there is no right answer. Have faith in yourself and your decisions. Take heart and protect all those you can. You're doing your best, Urian J. Sage counsel indeed. Just do what I do. Hit things with it. Wisdom as befits a great worm. Curious that he should think thee in need of such encouragement. Strange. Scarcely can I remember when last we spoke alone, and so candidly. I thank thee. For all my supposed skill with words, I find it difficult to express such private thoughts. Hey man, we've all been there. As for the Loperitz proposition, I will take time and consider how to respond. It would be to our mutual benefit if we could converse more openly with our aspiring caretakers. A concern I should be glad to address on the Scion's behalf. To dispense with all pretense and bear one's heart to another is a frightening thing indeed. But we cannot move forward ere we take that bold first step. A lesson I have learned many times before. And today. But they're so big. <laughs> no matter. We've got our plans. You mean remodeling? Yeah. In truth, my reason for traveling hither was to effect a plan of my own. A plan which may pave a way forward for us all. May, I say, for there is no guarantee of success. It is the reason I set out alone. That failure should it come would be mine to bear alone. Yet thou standest before me with proffered hand and open heart. It would be remiss of me to refuse thy amity. And so I ask, wouldst thou join in mine endeavor? Yeah. Yeah, without a second thought. Let's go, dude. Thank thee for accompanying me. It is a simple plan, in truth. We should not be long away from Bassaway's Barrow. Difficult decisions must needs be made in the coming days, but I nevertheless believe we are all of one mind in our desire to save the people of Aetherius. To make clear our resolve to Loperist, I would offer them a gift, but it's making doth require our most singular ingredient. We're gonna make them burgers? Hopefully not rabbit terrine. To the southeast. I assume he needs me to kill something for him. An abundance of spungoi. A chance to spay, spay. To spy this aggregation when crossing zodiacs, asked for a person. Using a spell taught to me by the no mo. New mo? New mo? I forget how they say the name. Please, that's just fight with the gift I would fashion. The magic required considerable concentration over. Might have really wanted me to stand watch while I was performing the incantation. Yeah. Let me just murder things for you. I think this guy's doing the same thing I'm doing.
We good? Oh, one more. on his work. All right. So we ain't done yet. There, it is done. Magic ink. Every ounce is efficacy. Efficacy. I mean, it's effective. Efficacy? That's that card for the new mall. All right. Resulting products merely possessing no pre preternatural properties. All right. Thank card? No, it does. <laughs> Yashula has been looking all over for you, Mai. She says she needs to speak with you about something most urgent, dire even. It's also quite good that she wishes to speak with Mai alone, which means I'm afraid you must stay behind, Yuganche. But worry not, it just happens we need your help with an errand. Delivering a pack from the Watcher's Palace to Best Bros. Burrow. Best Place Burrow. Quite large and heavy, perhaps even too heavy for you. Please. Or we poor little freaks, and we would be ever so grateful if you could lend us a hand. That's convenient, suspiciously convenient. <laughs> no, <laughs> the risk getting my mutual is bad side. It's funny. <laughs> All right, then. Keep your secrets. Still to the southeast, huh? So it's over here. Oh, wait, is that a connection point? I just want to go see if this actually connects. And if so, if we can't reach Northern Mare Lamentorum. The sign is turned on. Go on to the south. Ah, uh, don't tell me it's not here. To the southeast. However, a connection. No, no connection. You you won't let me. I mean that is connected on the map. Just saying. So I find it strange that they don't actually let you jump it. Perhaps it's underground. Are there any connections above ground? If there are, I would like to use them. Yeah, it's gonna be really nice when it's possible to uh, to fly in this place because this is definitely one of those areas that's really irritating on the ground. Why does that look like something? Is it just that I've been playing Xenoblade that that looks like something? 
Heimdall's Last Sight. Interesting name. Ooh, hello. Fancy meeting you here, Mr. Ether Current. Thank you, thank you. To the southwest. Is this one of the engines, maybe? It almost looks like a cannon or like a defense thing of some kind. Downfall Hunter. That sounds like I don't want to mess with it. Turn it three to the southwest. To the west. Wait, it just got worse? 228. Oh, because I'm stupid, I'm going east. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, is that one right there? Over on the horizon, or is that just a particularly large star? No, I see it. Cool. Okay, so I have all the ones on the overworld, it looks like. Just have to make our way back. I kind of feel like this music must be hard to write. Like, that's one of the things when I've made music before, whether using like Guitar Pro 5, Guitar Pro 4, 5? Five? 5, I think it was to make MIDI files to write songs for like my high school band or um, or using Fruity Loops. I don't know why I'm doing that. Using Fruity Loops to experiment. What the heck is... Is someone just sitting on a Pikmin? What, what? Yeah, okay, they are. Okay. Um, using Fruity Loops to make things like the, uh, the stream, like weight music and everything like that, those kind of things. It's always hard to let to let things breathe. Like I feel like that's a particular skill that you either have to work on developing or it's just part of your natural style. Because like there's for a lot of things and for me, I know, there's an urge to want to fill things, you know? Like musically and space-wise and such. You're like, "Oh, like I could put this here. I could add this or I could do this." Right? Even though you might like the silence can speak pretty loudly when you like let things breathe and whatnot. And like this kind of music, this like more atmospheric type stuff, definitely is doing that, right? Like it's got the main melody, but it also just has like that subtle ringing in the background that's not tinnitus. It's just like the ethereal chorus for the moon. And there's like a very nice slow melody thing going on. And I like slow melodies. I don't know why I keep doing that, it's kind of fun. Somewhere around here. Maybe I should stick the map onto X rather than teleport. Considering how infrequently I teleport and how often I use the map.
But yeah, I also um, I was working on the battleship game a little bit this morning before I went off and had breakfast at or lunch. Yeah, lunch, lunch at the Ethop Cafe. Um, I got a, a good little wave screen transition kind of working. Subject to change. Subject to, for me to change the tiles and other things, I think. But uh, pretty good, though. Honestly, they could maybe benefit from like a bubble shader type thing. Then we could make a uh, transition screen very similar to After Images. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. What's going on here? Am I off by a thing, or do I need to go down? I need to go down. We. Lucky for us, cats have nine lives. Or in our case, 14 at least. Though, is our, is our source, is like our source split across all reflections, all 14 reflections? And if so, does that mean we're, we'll never be complete because half of them have been destroyed? I don't remember all the lore around like the whole soul thing and etc. Everything's all right there, Anjay, though. That's a relief. Yeah, he's just, you know, having a time. But back so soon? My, we thought you'd be away for far longer. A dire emergency? I said no such thing. But as you are here, I could use your assistance for one small matter. Running way, companion of growing way, apparently has much to tell us over the final days. The problem, however, is that he is determined to live up to his name, refusing to stay long enough for us all to conversation. Do get him a treadmill. Maybe enjoy cold mug of characters and no? no. Try using these balls of moose flesh, not to be confused with the uh the other thing. What other thing? Explain. Explain, what do you mean? Anyways, other notable features is incessant chatter, so no trouble finding you in a crowd when you try lobbing your balls at him. What? Wait, we're, like we're gonna knock him out? What what why don't we just jog with him? Like, we can run. We can, we can run in chat. We do it all the time in duties. This is... This is... Final Fantasy music. Is it six, too? Or is it the first? I'm just like running around in circles. Where are you? Search for one guy at the desert location. RT and A, okay. meant to be a joke it isn't funny no meant to stop you lucky I didn't trip you with my stick what's up I'm running away do you mind explaining why you hit me in the face with your balls <laughs> why do you keep doing that <laughs> oh why do they keep making this joke Why balls? You know what? You know what? We're just, we're just gonna go put that out on the internet real quick. This is so silly. Why? 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 The 
just, 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 why? That's all I ask. <sighs> highly not, I'm highly not cool with the fun of I'm Ron Burgundy. Most ridiculous thing I've heard since I woke up. Who told you that joke? As we've got time to look at the final days when there's so much to do before the great voyage. True that Highland did impart to us some knowledge of the event, but I know about as much as any little bird around here. Less probably. I don't know why anyone would think it's funny to go and tell people I'm an expert, but I hope I don't get my paws on them. That could be more help, but there's nothing else I've got work to do. And I'm off. Okay, we're gonna lift up Living Way and threaten her with a very pointy stick, I think. This is uh, not the way to treat your guests, my friend. Oh no, you caught him. I, I mean, well done, you. You're gonna get on Yishtola's bad side, living away. How do you fare? Yeah, he said he doesn't know shit. So he knows no more than the others. Care to explain yourself, Greenway? Oh, you see, yeah, yeah. I misremembered. Terrible sign. Pretty much drawing a blank, though. Tries to matter, I can't remember who I was thinking of. On an unrelated note, what of Urian J? Some of you spoke with Marlia, but did he say when he will be returning? On his way to the Watcher's place with Living Way. During Growing Way's sun lapse of memory, our lack of other leads, Mirad Home would be better spent lending Urian J a hand. Hold on a moment. I remember the information you're looking for is in the archives. That's where you'll find all sorts of useful knowledge, including that pertaining to the final days. I don't fully understand why the Lufferets only want to share who their contact is with Urian J. Yeah. Hi. Second floor of the main plaza, Eastern Wing. Suspect the Lopert's up to something, but if there's ought to be land of the final days, I think best we play along. For now, at least. Indeed. Man. If I wasn't such a lazy piece of shit, I would love to cosplay my character. Like, it's good armor. Do it. The only problem with like cosplaying a character like this is uh, if you want to have a Dragoon Lance, then you gotta, you know, deal with security. And make sure that, you know, you can bring it in. And like, can hate bag check type stuff like i remember um at colossal con i used to help out for for tech stuff and those things but also like run doors sometimes and my brother would help with security my sister would help run like the overall stuff oh, wait hold on there's a new thing here um and this, this was a number of years ago but i do remember that if you had a if you had a weapon you had to piece um what was it called? You had to piece wrap it so that you couldn't take it out of its scabbard. Hail, person. Yes, you. Do you have a moment? What's up, Naki? Anyway? Ever since we woke up for inspection, a friend of mine has been acting a little funny. Funnier than usual, even. I can hear him sighing from all the way over here. He insists nothing is wrong, though. Okay. Leave it to me. My name's friend is my name starts. My friend's name is Dreaming Way. Just follow the limit <laughs> snuffly. Okay. Hold on. There's another ether current quest over here, it looks like. 
grab both. Hello. Here you have a penchant for excitement and adventure? Is that correct? Mm hmm. Cartel the elegans. Yes, and nearly everything wrong with the world <laughs> seems to be their fault. <laughs> You're not wrong. That's because I have plans to serve an elegant relic not far from here. Weapons guarding, however, make it too dangerous for me to go alone. Uh huh. Sure. Is it inside the burr? Hmm. Oh, name that way looks like it's the easy one to do. Yeah, that one's way over here. All right, I'll wait to do that one. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably need to leave at some point, so I'll, uh, I'll do that when I do that. I wonder if that one's going to open up a duty. Duty. So Dreaming Way is over here somewhere? I assume. Oh, there he is. Stay focused, Dreaming Way. So, sure, you're no working way, but. Hi. You're not a Loperate. That's right, my cat. My dreaming is the day finally here. Am I truly talking with a visitor from Ethereus? Whatever can happen with him, madame? One of your friends asked me to chat with you. I think I should be asking you that very same question. How can I help you, bunny buddy? How do you know? This music reminds me of Harvest Moon. In case it could be, I couldn't bother an honored guest with my silly troubles. No, no, no. The hero of yours is the other hero's all troubles. So, lay it on here. Let me ask your name. Sure. Bob. Just kidding. Truly spectacular name. I'm sure, it speaks to your character in one way or another. If only I could say the same for mine. Perhaps it was a mistake to choose dream from that tumble of words. For tries and I have no such thing. And seeing everyone else live to the name since our waking has only made me more aware. The people with fears on the other possible to dream a great deal. Do you have any advice? Focus on what you love to do, focus on what you're good at. Focus on what you love to do. But that's the problem, I haven't the foggiest idea that, that would be. Oh look. Someone begging for a ban. That's so cute of you. Man, so kind. <sighs> then my fellow operas might have known them since, well, since we were created. So perhaps they see something in me that I cannot. Also, how the fuck did that get past the Nightbot? Hold on. Like, how does that get by any sort of auto mod, auto mod stuff? Give me a second. Nightbot. I don't mind sitting on this thing for a little bit. Spam protection. Black words. Blacklist. Enable options. Get rid of it now. Okay. 
<sighs> With their help, we must be able to find an objectively appropriate dream for me to pursue. You know best will be of service to mankind, after all. Well, why don't you pursue something that makes your other bunny friends better? You need only tell me once you come up with something. Anything at all. I just took a bite of a Charleston chew. They're so good. Hmm. Where's the third one? Hmm. Maybe there's two in one spot. Who's no sluggard? Always happy to lend a paw. He's a great help. Okay. Why don't you name him Helping Way? Wait. Wait, is there a Weaver Lopret named Hemingway somewhere? <laughs> Tell me there is. Always rushing off a new task just as soon as he finishes the old one. He helps, he does tasks a lot, doesn't like to stay still. Do anything he sets his mind to. Doesn't complain about the game's pulse either. Not sure I can think of anything he's particularly gifted to that. So he's helpful. He's helpful at lots of things. Stays busy. Yeah. You should you should call yourself helping way. Or friendly way. Maybe helping way is better though. Nice enough, but in no way gifted. Perhaps I was never meant to dream. Never to dream? Don't worry. We'll find your dream yet. In that case, I promise not give up until I find my dream. Hmm. My warmest and fuzziest thanks. We're gonna job shadow. Oh wait, it's it's up it's up top. Wait, I can use a teleporter now, can I? Where are the teleporters? It, it, it's these, right? How do you... Uh, okay. Were we supposed to be able to do that, though? Because I remember we did a thing and they said you can now use the teleporters. Weren't we sitting on one of those things when that was the case?
<sighs> I honestly don't think the mount would be that much faster, I'm not gonna lie. In case you're wondering why I'm just running around. Oh, those little staircases must be the teleports. Uh, oh well. Too late. Oh shoot, this is... Hmm. Eh, fine. Went to the wrong quest. So too much stats for clearing my exits or map? What other knowledge are you supposed to be leaving in their archives? I don't know. I'm gonna find out though. Because I right through this door, but it seems to be locked. I guess we have to go and find whoever has the key. Going away enough. If you're not else to tell us the final days, you need only say so. We can ill afford to be wasting time here, as you well know. Did you yourselves not tell us we must ask quickly? Yeah, we, we did, but the moon was to be a perfect paradise for the people of Ethereus, and we're running out of time to make everything ready for their arrival. We hope you see the wonders you have to offer, but you found nothing but faults and flaws in our work. Only one of you saw our potential, seeing so others must be kept here. Hmm. So that's living this game. Run a spot in circles and figuring out lock us away so we can't put the planet at risk. Everyone except Urian J. Mm hmm. Fear you've misjudged us, Greenway. Never have we decried the notion of using the moon as a means to escape. That said, my heart breaks at the thought of abandoning Ethereus and our reflections of their doom. If there, ways, if there is a way to avert the final days, I wish to find it. We all do. We may fail, but our efforts will never be at the expense of your plans. But why would you take that risk? There's no room for ifs and maybes now. The people of Ethereus will escape you to the moon. They'll be safe. We'll finally get to see all their happy, smiling faces. Sorry, but I can't leave. Leave you, but just can't. Yeah, I don't think you're going to win this. Back in a moment, don't do anything rash while I'm gone. Yeah, um... We dally the overwhelms, overwhelms with sheer numbers, so we knock these ones out, split up and make our way to the exit. Agreed. Let's reconvene your August awaits outside. Yeah, I don't know who they think they're dealing with. Oh, does this mean I can't do the thing, though? You're under attack. Am I? Eh, yeah, okay, I am. Yep, sorry, not sorry. Please come quietly. No. Like, I don't know who you think you're dealing with here, but I put down Zodiac 10 minutes ago. Do you not see that? Like, whether Heidelin made these things and that they're, you know, just as powerful or Amaros, just like the abilities to make things or not, but. You're kind of dumb, Groin Way. Okay, so it's playing the music. I am pretty curious you now about if I'm going to be able to, like, make this quest continue or they're going to kind of lock me out of it because I assume they might be locking me out of it. 
but I will check since it is right here. So it's not that much of a of a detour. Hi. What's the occasion? She's here to observe me. Any tasks to help? Building ways and need more crystals. Could you perchance mine some? Okay. Off to Valis Vulnerus. Oh, we're going outside. Huh. Okay. I mean, I'm glad I went to that one. Half expected the car from Final Fantasy 15. I wonder, do you think the story writers for the game, do you think that they like play through the main story quests together as a group or something? Or like, like QA testing those things. Like, do they just like make an account that has a bunch of stuff in it as well as um, like completed up to that point basically? Too bad, you? Uh, you know. Good, you're here. Must hurry to the Watcher's Palace and buy no Yanjay. And uh, what, pray tell, do we seek at the Watcher's Palace? Forgive me, Living Way, but I cannot in good conscience proceed with this plan. Huh? But what about the final days? The death and the doom? Oh, we have to hurry before it's too late! Your unflagging commitment to your duty is endearing, to say the least. Ease. They bear you no grudge, nor do I. How could we, having come to understand your purpose? For millennia, you and yours worked tirelessly towards the singular purpose of this heavenly vessel's construction. An arduous feat by any measure. It is clear you have spared no effort. Why, your very names are a testament to your dedication. I understand what you're getting at. Names are an expression of the self, a declaration of one's hopes and aspirations. Your use of contemporary, uncomplicated nomenclature doth ensure clarity of purpose. There can be no doubt like that, sentence. that your love for the people of Atheris is boundless and pure. Please never speak again. No, stop. Shining, shimmering blue jewel, brightest star in the sky, 
brimming with life and possibilities. For as long as I can remember, I've toiled in anticipation of the day when this vessel might be needed. All I've ever wanted was to meet those she cherished so dearly. To serve and serve well. That goes for all of us. Don't you see? So help us. Help us help them. Lead them here where we can keep them safe. If there's anything wrong with what we've built, we'll fix it. We'll make it right. Your works want not for repair. Yet there remaineth much for you to learn of men and your own kin besides. Singing way. Thy name bespeaketh more than the simple marriage of rhythm and rhyme. The songs of Etheris are beyond counting, and span the length and breadth of emotion. Maps are monuments to man's pioneering spirit and his devotion to charting the furthest reaches of our star. Many have devoted their lifetimes to exploratory pursuits to venture unto the highest mountains and the deepest oceans in search of unknown frontiers. And thou, my friend, I... Oh, I do not think we have met. My... My name is Puddingway. <laughs> <laughs> Son, I'm, I'm naming you after my favorite thing. He's like, oh, God, way. Yes, indeed. A name of deep and abiding significance, I'm sure. But one perhaps better communicated through delicious deeds than tasteless words. A judicious application of fey magics at a later juncture may be appropriate. <laughs> what fey? What do you mean? <clears throat> and living way. Is no easy feat to convey the significance of thy moniker. Hmm. When I was a bookish boy, a dear friend of mine was fond of peppering me with questions as I read, to my occasional annoyance. One day, I posed to her a question of mine own. What does it mean to live? After much contemplation, she proffered this answer. The anticipation of a half-read story's conclusion. The hope today's mistake may serve as tomorrow's lesson. The wish that a new acquaintance may one day call thee friend. She believed it to be all these moments and more. I... I want to understand, but... I, too, still labor to find mine own answer. Twould be my pleasure to assist you and yours in embarking on a journey of self-discovery and enlightenment. For thee. My best vial of lubricant. Ink as blue as the waters of Etheris. Made in haste, though I assure thee, the quality has not suffered for it. What's your alchemy level? The people need not be persuaded by honeyed words. Nay, I have faith they shall do what is right in due course. Until they do, I beg your patience, friends. And with that ink, let us fill the empty pages of Living Ways Compendium. An open exchange of ideas will surely afford you all a better understanding of modern man, and with it, ideas for improvements and renovations. But more importantly, it shall empower us to together find a way forward. I hope you're right. Thank you for this lovely gift. There you have it. I shall remain with the Loperits to ensure that all is in order. 
Though we must needs prepare for every eventuality, you would all agree that the evacuation of our star is a last resort. Yeah, guess so. To accept failure is to accept the demise not only of our star, but that of Reen's, of all reflections, and the souls that call them home. Which is why I have every faith that you shall fight to the last, that such drastic measures may prove unnecessary. Should the worst come to the worst, and I pray deeply that it won't, I'll take comfort in knowing preparations were made under your watchful eye. Aye, thou mayest be assured that if calamity cometh, not a soul will be left behind, if being the operative term. All right, we have that emotion flower thing, right? Oh, my butt grows flowers. something other than a carrot. I think nothing of it. We haven't been the most gracious of guests. Do convey our apologies to Growing Way and the others. But of course! And when next we welcome more guests from Atheris, we'll have learned to be much more hospitable hosts. Oh, and circling back to the matter of inappropriate secrecy, we ought to discuss our benefactors. Agreed. The Charlian Forum. Oh, I yes. called it. What? How did you know? The more I heard, the more obvious it became. The Forum's aims align closely with those of your anonymous patrons. A telling coincidence would be an understatement. Though had we not taken it upon ourselves to peruse certain restricted tones in Labyrinthos, we might still be unaware of their plans. But let us continue this discussion upon our return. I dare say we have kept Alphano and the others waiting long enough. Watcher. Hmm. Keep the Elpis close. All right. Hi, Pony <laughs> Way. <laughs> Make sure unless everyone listens to uh, Telegram, we look forward to our next walk together. You love us a short and excitable bunch. <laughs> so I was relieved to see living was pleased my gift of ink to serve and serve well. Though their knowledge may be lacking, their balanced love is a blessing without peer. It would be no easy task to prepare them for what must needs be done, but gladly do I embrace this duty, even if I, even if it doth necessitate to part ways for a time. Forgive me my absence, but I have the utmost faith in you, in all our fellow scions. When next I return to Aetherius, I pray I find you all in good health and good spirits. Oh, it's right there. See, this one's a little bit trickier, though, isn't it? Ok. 
Okay. I'm gonna go do those two side quests before I take the next thing because it's obviously a, uh, like, you're gonna go back to the surface now type deal. So I would rather go collect these real quick and then we can just warp over to the, um, the Aetherite crystal in order to continue the main quest. Sorry. Uh, not that. Is there one of these without a um a thing? A theme? No, apparently not. the real question is why does this have that theme you know I don't really want to hit a fate though there is someone working on it apparently I don't think I would be much help though uh, I don't think I can help you I mean I could try you know what fine someone's doing it, maybe I can help. How, how deadly are these things is the question. Oh, he's a tank too. me got this buddy I think right you're still alive whoops that's the wrong one Definitely easier to do a fate with two people than it is with one. Especially if one of those is a tank. It should be around here somewhere. There you are. Hi, Dreaming Way. Told while I was waiting, I felt an itch to get started, and before I knew how to gather all the crystals, building we will need. I think I could use some sand as well, though, so why not collect it while we're here? I'm sure, one bit of gray sand looks much like the rest to you, but trust me, the gray sand here is the best. Some of work, so would you care to join me? Okay. Oh, 
he, he's very considerate too. Maybe he's considerate by. <laughs> or maybe he's just dreaming away because he helps people, you know, meet their needs. Also, that's his bimbo. Wait, that's a title? Bimbo? Hey? That was the sand. Gray and gritty. Lovely as ever. That's when there's a moldy carrot. The ability to fly would be very nice. Then I don't have to be concerned about crags and other weird nonsense anymore. Uh, yeah, okay. I think. Wait, no. Now I'm confused. It has a connection. Right? I think I've done that before, where I think you can get there. But it's around, around the top, then back and up again. there's a connection along there at all so you do have to kind of go the long way around it looks like gatekeeper uh would it be would you be useful actually you get me where do you get me you get me here don't you or you get me there. I don't know if that actually saves me time or not. Maybe. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it, it, it will. Let's assume it does. Not so bad to be able to sit back and not not to worry about monsters for a little bit. Was hope. I don't know actually. Will he be faster when I need to go back? Probably, right? And then we'll need 
need to go back anyway to report in on that other quest wherever it went. So, yeah, yeah, I was over there in the, the east wing. So yeah, so I'll be back there, so then I'll just ride Argos back. Or, uh, actually, maybe I don't ride Argos back, maybe I just teleport. Depends on how much they're gonna, they're gonna charge me. My 3.1 million gil has other uses besides teleportation. That may or may not be a lie. Wait, what is it? Fully enlarged. Okay. It's been an interesting, um, interesting number of sentences said in tonight's stream. Today's stream? Today's stream, I guess. To get there, we had to go this way. Oh god. Oh, he's cool looking, actually. I like the noises it makes. Ow! Shot me in my ass. Do, do, do. Okay, up and over. Of course, you take up position directly in front of a monster. Crash site is just ahead. If you need to find anything, that maybe you should be careful. You retrieve it. So, oh, so this is an Allegan ship. That's why it looks familiar. Okie dokie. Getting away from this one. Or maybe I did. Neat. You place it in your ambiguously sized bag. Very nice. I do love when they poke fun a little bit at that kind of thing. Fascinating remnant. Looks like it's gonna wake up and attack me. Wait, no, that's one of those orb things from um, from from the play. Uh, yeah, okay. too bulky to carry back. I mean, is it though? Couldn't we just, you know, gently pull it along or something? I mean, I'm sure, like, if they can, if the bunnies can build something that big, then they can probably, you know, scavenge around, do their thing. Is that another marker?
So you're telling me that an Allegan ship managed to crash land on the moon? Huh. How do they breathe? Like, I understand how I'm breathing. It's because the bunnies helped out, right? Just trying to see if I can avoid having to fight three things at once. taking this long to kill. I guess this is level 84. Hi. You okay? Do you find anything of interest? Here you go. Oh, he's gonna be smart and, and wait until he comes back. That's, uh, that's surprisingly awful. Back we get then. Hard not to just hum Etrian Odyssey music all the time. So good. I've been pretty bad about playing it though recently. In that I haven't for, for a little while. I'll get back to it. The Abyssal Shrine is cool. It is. It's a really neat stratum, but I've just. I've lacked. Well, it's not for lack of motivation. I have been busy with other things basically. Like, rather than fall asleep playing Etrian Odyssey at night after I stream, I've been, you know, programming and working on things and such, so why can't I? I mean, the only reason why I'm, I'm not really spending, like, the entire day today working on the battleship thing is, uh, because this is time-limited. <laughs> But, I mean, I did spend the morning on it, so. Which I also intend to do tomorrow. Basically, I'm, I'm thinking, like, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll spend my mornings doing the programming so I don't feel like I missed out on doing that this weekend. And um, then during the day, I'll play Final Fantasy XIV to see how far we can get. Granted, how far we can get is entirely dependent on on the number of side quests I decide to do, but uh, I can't really help myself. Um, in in the words of Bullet for My Valentine, I have no control. <laughs> oh man, I'll, I want to go listen to the Hand of Blood EP now. I've been listening to them for a while. This morning I was listening to Shibian Records, the Kokoro Vibration album. Fantastic album if you like synth stuff. Everything that Shipping on Records makes is really good, honestly. But that album especially, I, I quite enjoy for programming or just like doing stuff and you need something to listen to while you do it. He is down below, right? We out. I think that's him right there. No, it's not.
There it is. All right. Here you go. An Algan decryption unit. With it, we could read Algan tombstones about history, science, and poetry, if we had any, which we don't. <laughs> hey, you know, you might. You might get some one day, little buddy. Freebird. Oh, yes. Yes. Yay. Now I don't have to be in pain anymore. <laughs> Ah, uh, this area feels like it really needed this. There we go. And more! Hmm. Hmm. It would have been embarrassing if it turned up without a grain. Do you remember what he needed it for? A pit full of stuff for the children of Ethereus to enjoy such things. Oh, yeah. Huh. I'm more curious about how you were aware of this request. But anyway, said so he hadn't told anyone but me about his latest project. Well, I must have overheard you two talking when I was out collecting crystals last time. Given how far the grow is from here, that seems incredibly unlikely. Huh. Maybe he should be nosy way. So, I mean, that's some good sand. Find any dreams he can aspire to? Oh, really must learn to be patient. Dude, call yourself Helping Way. Or better yet, call yourself Side Quest Way. Does he have another one? Any other jobs? I suppose there's a caretaker that wants her repairing. Put her the parching you'll be over at Heimdall's last site. Okay. He's impossible to slow down once he sets himself to task. Yeah, he really is. Play music when mounted. There we go. Not that I don't want to listen to Titan's theme, I think that was, but we're on the moon, man. The, the, <laughs> you're killing the vibe. See what I mean? This is so much easier now. And the Heimdall, follow me. <laughs> According to our records, this vessel landed on the moon about five years ago. Been a wonderful source of spare parts. Also, horrible mechanical monsters. But never you mind that. You need the salvaging to me. I don't know if I can. Wait at the designated location. I think we're gonna get worried and go back to help. <laughs> Boil my carrots.
You all right? Maybe you should be headstrong, boy. I tried to run, but I tripped. That gray sand's not nearly as pleasant when it's in my mouth, let me tell you. Oh, oh poor guy. Hoping to show you what a competent and capable worker I could be on my own. I did manage to get the parts we need, though, so all's well that ends well. Meet me at the Caratorium. You got it, buddy. Maybe his name should be Fixing Way. Because he, like, fixes everyone's problems. Like I said, he is very considerate, though. So, like, that could maybe be a name for him. I want, I want to help our little buddy figure out a name for himself. Loving Ways Darlings. Wait, what? She named the rocks, huh? I wonder if one of these is a sightseeing spot. This looks like maybe um, like a sh like a control station type deal. Oh, this one. Oh, that's not a door. Never mind. You need some help? As you can see, this is the caretaker that needs our attentions. Carrying way, maybe? Because he cares about everyone and making sure everyone's being helped. Poor thing's not able to move right now, but it'd be as good as new once I'm done with it. Jack way. As a master of all, don't think anything weird. Shoot this over there, stick the thing with Bob in the what's it, and 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 we're good. It's active and working again. The pristine condition. Good job. And it didn't even attack me. Look at that. Most loppers know enough to make some repairs, though. It's really nothing special. Huh. I suppose that's more than we had to go on before, though. Not to mention there's still one job in mind that much yet. Would you care to see we grow carrots? You sure you're not like sharing way? Maybe he's gonna become a minion for me, you know? And like follow us around. No, we're gonna get soup. What? Soup. All right, excited to learn about the world of care production. Place the seeds in the water, sorry, in the machine, water them, then reap the sweet rewards. It's so easy that anyone could do it. As far as I know, you're in anyone. <laughs> Why not try it for yourself? Sure, dude. Completing menial tasks with friends is so fun. That's true. Many hands make light work. Save me the jumping. 
Oops. Stock down first. Carefree tossing motion, your systems have scattered the seats nicely. Now they need water. Water crystals. Okay, there's, this isn't the only machine you're replenishing. Why don't you pay a visit to the sparkling supply station over the northeast corner? Get it done in a jiffy with my ability to fly. Ninety seconds. Uh, so I can't fly for this. Ninety seconds, huh? Seemed uh, a tad unnecessary, but hmm. I just love that sound. Sure. You not hear that tone now? Just now it sounds like carrots are ready for harvesting. Not this station. Heard the joyous sound of two ripened carrots. Pulling them is the best part. He's not here. Smell carrots. Yeah. Mm, mouth watering. The way all there is to it, and to my days, to put it plainly, I apologize for not being more interesting to follow around. Any ideas uh, for a dream that would suit me? What a new name. Or you could be like a director or something. Maybe we should consider one of your hobbies. What do you do when you're not working? Is this name gonna be working right now? Uh, what do I do? Hmm. If only I had some sort of skill to set me apart from the others. Have you tried making music? Maybe he should be listening way. Mm. What are you two up to? Maybe it was just a suggestion that I put the dream and dream away through the purchase route of music. He doesn't know what music is? Oh, that's sad. Uh, a whole lung nose face thing. One, two, three.
Maybe I'll get a gesture from this. Goodness, that's terribly fun. How many antennas has this can charm that snorting or shrieking does not? <laughs> All right, that'll be my dream, bringing joy to others through music. There you go. All right, so he's not changing his name. He's just getting, oh God, he has an audience. The gift of music, of course, like this. Why do they speak in 8-bit? Oh god, what have we started? Okay, this has got to be a guest request, right? Like, they're gonna give me that emote. Oh gosh, I think he might have had too much music. Dreaming Way has a dream! All right, Martin Luther Way. Thanks. I didn't realize he was so upset over not having a dream of all things. All right. Eventually, I want to go beyond just humming and compose original music. Hmm. Very nice. Nice. All right. Great. A hundred people. While I could teleport, I think I'll fly across part of the area that I haven't seen yet, just to get the map filled out a little bit more. Though I dare say I should probably consider dinner within the next hour. Not right now. I mean, I've been snacking, so it's not like I'm actually hungry at the moment, but I should eat something more substantial than goldfish. Is that a face? Is that a fucking face? Uh, I don't like that. Man of the Moon, huh? Kaidanian mold, something. Looks like there's something there. I don't remember how the sightseeing thing works. There. Uh, I'm sure we'll be back. So maybe I won't quite get that yet. But yeah. Whenever I go to um, the Cradle of Darkness, hmm. whenever I go to the cafe and read, the. Like, it's one meal but it's also kind of insane. Like. Yeah. Like it's just a lot of food that they give you. Rice, lettuce, pickled veggies, two little spring rolls, and a bunch of meat. So.
Alright. I'll get whatever that is at some point. No doubt we will come back here and I will do it then. In the meanwhile, though, while I wait for us to voyage across, I'm out of tea in my cup, so I shall eat more in. Lopretz and Uriangi as capable hands, we didn't worry about affairs here in our absence. Knowing now the face of their earthly collaborators, there is much to their disgust with Alpha and the others. Let's return to the Tower of Babel. Our battle for the Star is going to begin in earnest, must be prepared. I mean, the council and folks can go fuck themselves. Like, they can fly off if they want. We don't need this moon. <laughs> Actually, okay, here's a question. She stuck Zodiac on the moon, right? And then shit happened because Fan Daniel did a thing from the moon, right? Or from, from the surface to the moon to unlock and break the things and such. Why didn't she just launch the fucking moon? Like, does Zodiac need to be nearby? and Garla Mold. Testament to the law person ingenuity that I found no such discomfort on the moon. Yeah, really though. Gods I can scarcely believe went to the moon and back. We'll have time to reflect on that later. Right now we need to head back to Camp Broken Glass and deliver a thoroughly detailed report to Lucia. I'd like very much to know how everyone's getting on here as well. I'm just going to treat the tempered prisoners when we left. I share your curiosity, but warning our allies of the final days is of greater importance. I speak not only of the contingent force. The heads of state of every nation must know what we have learned. We know not when or where or what manner the final days begin to manifest, and so we must see that everyone is prepared. Agreed. Though we may wish to stress the importance of discretion, lest the public be sent into a panic. Not that anyone in a position of responsibility should need should need to be told as much, but it bears repeating. Where there's keeping the growth happening because he was um, oh, Zodiac and everything. Okay, so like so like you wouldn't launch him off into space because he might hit a star somewhere and die and then you get the final days without warning. But like couldn't she put him like on an asteroid a bit further out or something? Like or put him on the side of the moon that doesn't face the planet? So like people don't get any funny ideas? You know certain people whose names begin with F and end with annual? the southwest southwest so like there this must be more south than west I would think also hello Drake's much I yeah but I mean I mean, if he was on the other side of the moon, then maybe they would have noticed him. <laughs> I don't know. Like, come on. Could have put him literally anywhere else. Like, just, just like on a small like satellite orbiting at like three thousand miles per hour to the west. Is it like up in the corner here? Oh. 
Oh, it's behind a tree. The best of hiding places. Yink. Why do I feel like getting... You look dangerous. Oh good, he turned away. Also, I I found the setting in the um, in the thingies so that I could shut off the, the mount music so I don't have to listen to Titan's theme whenever I ride a horse anymore. So that's a plus. Explanations why distance is important. Look at this, but all right. All right, I don't need to know. To the southwest. Wow, that guy is blind. Oh, it's probably up there, isn't it? Wait, no, because I have no way to get up on there. It says southwest still. Aha! How's your, uh, how's your Saturday? Go on, by the way. Good good weekend so far, I hope. To the Huist. I mean, does, does, I mean, do you think I feel productive? <laughs> is, is playing Final Fantasy XIV something that one would consider productive? Because <laughs> I, I don't know if I would necessarily include it. So I, I think you're in, you're in good company, is what I'm saying. To the south. Wait, I thought it was to the east. To the southeast. Southeast. Uh, is it? Oh, wait, 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 I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. Two more. To the north. Horsey. I do like riding the horses. They're kind of fun. Little unicorns. So I think the, um, is it a death claw? I forget the name of it. The, the little like wall master slash floor master type thing that just carries you through the sky. That thing always cracks me up. I think it's one of my favorite mounts besides the bed. Cause also the bed is very silly. Oh God. Could, could you not? stuck here. I, though I will say, one of my friends texted me, or she, she texted a group chat that we have with another friend, and she was like, dinner? Friend, friends and food? Dinner? And... I was like, I didn't respond at first. And then my other friend responded that she had uh, like company visiting, so she wouldn't be able to. So then I felt like less bad about replying be like, yeah, so I'm I'm kind of a, a, a sort of playing Final Fantasy 14 for the next, uh, you know, like 24 hours and don't have time for anything else. <laughs> this is it's time limited. 
I don't I don't have time to hang out with people. What is this? I only have time to go and read and eat lunch for an hour at my usual place. I assume it's at the top of this, but I could be wrong. It feels like where they would put one. But maybe it's beneath it, I don't know. Oh, they totally did. Good old gamer instincts. And the good thing is, I think this is the last one. Cause I'm free. Free as a bird now. Nice. Should have told her that 14 has a free child. <laughs> she is not the type. She, uh, she works outside for a living for a, a parks department. And uh, I think the last time she touched a video game was the last time that she came over my place with another one of my friends and I made them play River City Girls too. It might have actually been River City Girls 1, I think, actually. She, she's, not, she's not into that type of stuff. She's more into watching her cat eat catnip and play with like a taco toy. So, you know, simple, simple things like that. Which is fine. I'd rather watch the little wind-up alpha, you know, do his thing. Uh, where's, uh, where's my buddies? All right, Lucia. Boy, do I have news for you. The moon, no cheese. Good to see you all again. No worse for your lunar adventure, I hope. Oh, so Thancred already told you? No. Wait, how do you know? Oh, right, because they were here before when I went up. Right. We've done what we can for now. Believe me, we intend to tell you all about it. But before we do, might you tell us what became, what's become of Garlemald in our absence? Succeeded in subduing the tempered inside the Tower of Babel. Took many alive, but combined with those who were already in our custody, the men were requiring care has grown exponentially. The inclement conditions here made it difficult, if not impossible, to treat them all here, so we petitioned the aid of all the allied nations. Some are, understandably, hesitant to proffer assistance, particularly those that were but recently subject to imperial occupation. That said, several others have agreed to grant them refuge for treatment. With the assistance of your fellow scions, we endeavor to see them safely transported and subsequently cured of their tempering. Relocate them all. No. Sufficient shelter to attend to those whose treatment has begun, and enough healers have volunteered to remain until the patients have recovered. Jill Eulis wants a space so he's not yet fit to receive visitors. Truth be told, his miracle healing and those in his company are harm to the chaos. If not for Alpha No and Ali say timely assistance, I dare say none of them will be with us today. Oh, look at those twins doing good. Have the Alliance leaders come to any decisions regarding Gollumwald? Nah. Given the tremendous ramifications of what has happened here, take time to determine what must be done. In the meantime, they intend to work with the Eastern Alliance to keep a close watch over the provinces. Shortly after Anima was defeated, we received reports that each and every tower has vanished. Oh, good! Right, the, 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 the bad things that were causing tempering to happen. Wait, what about the elephant that was stuck in the wall? For Mercy, the process was apparently not quite as violent as, the, as you experienced in Thavnair. Those who are trapped within them have been rescued and are receiving treatment. To hasten this endeavor, the beast tribes have received instruction to the magics needed to cure tempering. Oh, cool, so the elephant will be fixed. Master Vertoya is no doubt thrilled the mother Porksy affords her so many visitors. Yes, we are grateful for her ongoing efforts. As for the contingent, several of our members are going to leave to return to their homelands after the transfer of temper has been completed. Great, so everything's going swimmingly, sounds like. And, oh yeah, the Empire is pretty fucked, huh? I believe that accounts for recent bits here, so what of the moon and the Telophoroi? Oh, well... Xenos, um... Still alive. 
still very powerful. Everyone else is dead, though. As far as I know. And they're like, you found rabbits on the moons. Hmm. All right. All the signs are going to return to Charlene. Oh, Carl is alive. Very good. One last thing. After your confrontation with Zodiac, you said Xenos took leave. Or Xenos, sorry. And all is likely to return here to Gollumald. I have a mind to dispatch scouts to try and ascertain its whereabouts, but first wish to ask we believe there's merit in doing so. Oh. If they found him, they would not likely live to tell the tale. Expecting a trail of destruction to follow, you won't find one. An admirable, but futile endeavor. I'm gonna go with the first option here. Don't do it. He'll show up when he wants me. Well, on the subject of Xenos, the Tenth Legion has made an official proclamation. They denounce the Crown Prince and condemn his role in the Empire's downfall. His very title has become a source of shame among his former subjects, and continued use serves only to hinder relations with foreign nations. For this reason, he has been declared a Xenos, Viator Galvis, outcast, and enemy of Garlemald. So he's excommunicated, basically, right? Is what that means. Fandango is no more, and now his own people turn against him. Seems he needs not but his bloodlust to give him company. Better than that, an army to see it sated. Yeah. I mean, he's gonna show up again. Probably do something stupid somewhere. Speak with Kryl at the Baudessian Annex. Uh, Baudessia is the place with the boats and stuff, right? Oh, right. I'm all the way over in fucking Alamegan area, aren't I? Aren't I? Northern Empty, Old Charlene. That is a $1,500 trip. Kind of expensive. Wait, unattuned? Hey? Wait, did, did I never get in there? Did I never have the opportunity to get in there? This is the... Is this like the weird little Senate chamber thing that they had? Or is this the underground thing? It looks like it's the underground thing, maybe. Alright, but I had to go to Old Charlian. Which, if I remember right, we can get there via boat. So... Boat means Gridania, because Gridania means... Uh... Thing. There's a thing to get to... Limsa Luminsa. The, 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 the flying thing flyy thingy. You know, the fly thingy. Airship! There are three sorts of tears. Oh, okay. What is it? I mean, I don't know. This this feels relatively specific. Is there, um... Is there a reason it would be blocked off? Or was I just dumb and I just missed it? Because I, I can very much believe that that would be the case. Hello, Limsa Lamenta, please. Because there's a ship, and from the ship, I think we can get to Charlene. Char, Charlene, Char, 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 I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with words. With these words. You know, there's more need to know than you. 
Mm. Fair. Fair enough. Cat, make a get. And I dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. Cat, I'm a kitty cat. And I dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. Cat, I'm a kitty cat. Dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. Okay. Uh, hello. Wait. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is Lumsalamita that has the boat. It's on the east side? Right? I think I went too far up. Or maybe not far up enough. It's on the part where there's all the, um, the lads and lasses. Like, the part where everyone hangs out. Oops. Didn't really mean to do that. A treat of trout. Walk. Why am I not just using the Ethernet? Yeah, there it is. We can get there without having to spend 1,500 gil. Is it you? No. As much as fun as it would be to go to not Japan. Let's do this. So that's 400. Okay. There it is. Hmm. The specimen came from the moon. Did, did, a, did a bunny come down with me? Buy one, get a bunny, I guess. Boga. Wait a minute. You know what I haven't done yet since coming back in? Oh, CC's Pizza. You finished your retainer venture. <laughs> My gosh. Go do it again. <laughs> All right. What do you got for me? Thank you. Have fun. What are you upset about? Disabling. Oh, right, right, right. Minor in the 60s, so no good. Northota. Looking to Sally's. Uh, is this worth doing? Whatever this one is. I mean, the blue ones normally are, right? Because they normally unlock things. But I don't know what this is. Also, you're extremely tall, lady. Or I'm short. Or both. Probably both. But, like, you, you seem particularly massive. Where's the, um... Alright, it's the house. Yeah, okay. What do you got for me? Confident recommend you to associate level hunts. Oh, okay. It is the hills, the bars, and playing north is our only problem. Speak with Jalakshai. Oh, you? Okay, you.
the astronomers have long since banned her from their meetings <laughs> and refused her request from her on principle. She's been demanding samples from the moon. Oh. Okay. Sure. Okay. Okay, good. A perfectly... A perfectly decent quest that was very easy to do. That was faster to do than my... Than, like, my hesitation over doing it. So... Man, this music's so comfy. Not quite Eurocamp comfy, but comfy all the same. Hello, Tataru. Could we please know everything's been kept in order? Good. No sooner had they arrived that I received word of Cal and poor health, and you on the moon! <laughs> yeah, fancy that. Although this plane that caused my own fair share of worrying for that, I must apologize. You were possessed. It's not your fault. Heidelin called me that day when you entered the Tower of Babel. Okay. What came out feels like a dream brother. My body flowing through the live stream towards Scarlet Malt. When I regained consciousness, I was all aches and frostbite. Hmm. So exhausted, in fact, I could only laugh, but it was in that moment I understood Raha's wariness from the Tower of Zo. Would that I could laugh at a time like this. Though we prevented Zodiac from being unleashed upon the world, I'm curious to know what else took place there on the moon. I ate cheese and carrots made of rabbits. Or made from rabbits. Made with rabbits. Rabbits made them. Perhaps you should wait for the others to join us before you give your account. Let us reconvene the main hall once they have arrived. Wait. Oh. Wait, like this? Feels like cutscene time. Cutscene time? Oh, this music is so good. <laughs> we understand you've been quite busy. Indeed. Will Urian J be joining us? Nope! He's on the moon! So there we were, surrounded by trolls. The final days, as befell Amarot. And we are to escape via the moon. What are the Sorsons' reflections? Fucked, my friend. I have no intention of standing by while the world falls to ruin. So. How do we stop this? Fortunately, no answers are present. If the celestial currents have grown stagnant, as was the case in the time of Amarot, the solution would be to alter the flow of ether throughout the entirety of the star. The ancients accomplished this by summoning Zodiac, sacrificing half the star's population in the doing. But it should go without saying that such a sacrifice must not, cannot be repeated. Which leaves us with the daunting task of identifying the underlying catalyst for the final days. A feat with which even the Amaro teens could not accomplish. Unfortunately, we found no clues in Mari Lamatorum. There's still much we do not know about the catastrophe itself, let alone what may have caused it. The final days are marked by the corruption of the Amaro teens' creation magics, but we command no such power, which invites the question, what havoc is in store for us? If we knew that, perhaps we could draw some parallel with the events of the past, and thereby form some semblance of a plan. Perhaps we should start with the form then. Having worked with the Lofferts in secret all this time, there's nothing. There's surely more they can tell us. Forgive the interruption, but I have urgent news! The form is holding a public assembly in the plaza outside. Some sort of announcement. What is Father up to now? There's only one way to find out. They're probably going to announce the existence of rabbits on the moon. Or excommunicate 
us again. Or something. I don't know. We'll see. This isn't good music, though. This, this sounds like something bad is about to happen. Hear ye, hear ye. All those going to the moon shall receive a lifetime supply of cheese. All aboard, we're abandoning the star. Order, order, I say. Hey, we have a sound clip for that. <laughs> I thank you all for gathering here on such short notice. This day we must speak of grave affairs and their implications for the future of Charlian, nay, of this very star. Said affairs concern all citizens, and so we have called for a public assembly. You may have heard rumors of the Talophoroi and the havoc these madmen wreak abroad. Under normal circumstances, we would pay little heed to petty disturbances outside our borders. The final days, however, are another matter altogether. For we dare not ignore these prophetic words of Eld. The end bearers will come ushering chaos and calamity. The final days descend and devour the very star. I've never heard this prophecy. Is it true? Will all that really happen? Calm yourselves. The time has come to speak of the Forum's most sacred duties. But first... Give voice to the voiceless. Let bindings be unbound. By unanimous decree, I declare the enchantment broken. Master Leveilleur, if you would. Very well. Two hundred and seventy years ago, our forebears began an expedition in the Dravanian hinterlands, in search of a route to access the Ethereal Sea. This much is public knowledge. Their findings, however, would become the Forum's most closely guarded secret. What those researchers discovered in the Hinterlands was not a passage unto the Ethereal Sea, but the very heart of our star, and Hydaelyn herself. She spoke to them of a calamity that would extinguish all life and of a means by which we might be spared. The moon. Tis in truth a gargantuan vessel built to serve as sanctuary for her children and deliver them from this doom. Much like Nuncref's hope in ages past, it will bear the people of a world in the throes of death to a new home. Needless to say, this will be no small undertaking. To facilitate the great work, the Forum has maintained close contact with the servants of Hydaelyn, who presently reside on the moon. Convinced that the foretold end was all but inevitable, we began amassing a wealth of knowledge. Not merely for the betterment of our nation, but in preparation for the journey to come. Oh, that makes the whole underground, like collection of everything on the planet make more sense. 
You reveal this to us now? By the gods, how long do we have? Dano. Well, I mean, it does say final well, we days, say not weeks. With certainty, we believe the hour to be nigh. We received a transmission from the moon suggesting as much not long ago. Which is why we must in earnest begin preparations for the great exodus. For his impressive contributions and the leadership he demonstrated during our withdrawal from Dravania, we have elected Master Leveilleur to oversee this initiative. Fellow scribes and scholars, my countrymen, we face a threat of unprecedented scale. We must challenge the trials before us with composure and conviction if we are to find salvation. The wisdom of Charlian has ever been a shining beacon in the darkness, and so it shall continue to be. It is our solemn charge to see our heritage preserved for future generations. For those who will come after, we will brave a new frontier. <laughs> Administrative edicts will be relayed to all major institutions ere long. In the meantime, carry on with your duties. With that, I hereby call this assembly to a close. I'm going to take a wild guess and assume that the Charlians don't have any plans to let any other nations know. Just, just, I don't know, just, just making the wild guess that maybe they don't necessarily want the other nations to come along for the ride. Something about them all being dicks for some reason. I, I, I don't know, like something. Something tells me that they, they don't. You know? I don't know, just something. Definitely not nothing to do with the fact that they literally enchant themselves to do make sure no one would find what out. Mother told us when we visited home that it wasn't until after we were born that father seemed to lose himself in his work. If that great work of his was the evacuation of this star, then yes, it wasn't for his benefit. Would you mind waiting here a moment? I wish to speak with father before we leave. <laughs> Keep it civil, eh? I may look daggers at him, but I will neither speak nor draw them. If it's all the same to you, I have a few choice words to share with father as well. I'll say we'll draw them. So, come to call us cowards and bid us join your fruitless battle against the inevitable. Nay, we do not object to the Forum's proposal. On the contrary, those who wish to flee have every right to do so. Orianger is cooperating with your associates on the moon to ensure that all is ready should evacuation be our only recourse. Then whatever your business, I suggest you be brief. Though we cannot boast the boundless wisdom of Charlian, we have first-hand knowledge of foreign cultures and have conversed with no small number of peoples. These experiences have taught us fundamental truths that cannot be recorded in any tome nor charted on any map. Oh, don't tell that to Mapping Way. He might get upset. The beating heart of this planet is its people, many of whom would give anything, even their lives, to protect the lands they love. Many may choose to join you in the end. But what of those unwilling or unable, for whom escape will never be an option? What would you have them do? To ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom, Father. It is indolence. This is why we choose to fight. We'll not ask for your understanding, Father. Only that you don't turn a blind eye to the good we have done. That we can still do. 
We're not children in need of protection. Hold fast to your principles and let the world burn if it please. But we believe there is still another way. And if there is, we will find it. You see if we don't. Do as you will. Just stay out of our way. Yeah, because that won't make a space voyage awkward to have that be like the last thing you say to your kids before you see them again before the entire planet implodes. Were he not so consumed with self-righteousness, he might tell you how proud he is of you both. Bold words call for bold action. And there'll be no turning to your father should plans go awry. As if I ever would. So long as there are those who wish to stay and fight for this star, we have to do what we can to help them. And if we're to do that, we'll need to be well rested. To the brothel! I mean, the beds! And having triumphed over what we once thought to be the source of all evil, I can think of no one in greater need of at least a dozen winks. Shall we then? To the Annex. To prepare for tomorrow. You got it, homeboy. Just no staying up too late playing cards with the Stinian. I remember, I remember that Alphano and Alise were, um, you know, had had words for the entire committee that is the uh, the forum, and they interrupted a thing and whatnot. I don't remember the exact specifics of why why they're not on great terms with their dad. Besides the silence and the working to death things and such, I guess. But it's been been a bit too long for me to remember the specifics. Reminded my narrow escape from the Alaval realization, the running, the mixture of relief and regret after why me? I asked myself, why me? Why us? Why now? Yeah, well, you know. Look at this man's shirt. <laughs> the chocobo man. Chamber awaits. Yeah, sure. I sleep. Where do I sleep in this room exactly, though? Whoever could it be? What will you say? Oh, does, does this change things? Do I get to choose my visitor? Good God, there's six. Cat. Sweet, you do get to choose. You're still awake, good. What up, my Mikote brethren? Might I trouble you to stand still for a moment? Uh, what, what are you, what, 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 what are you doing? Hmm. Nothing appears out of the ordinary. You, you looking at my ether? Hmm. A precautionary measure. You will recall that serving as a vessel for abundant light in the first very nearly ended poorly. In your recent battle on the moon, you were almost certainly exposed to similar, if not greater, forces. Fortunately, from what I can see, 
You and your ether are none the worse for wear. Would that Reen were here to confirm my assessment. To think you actually found yourself in a direct confrontation with Zodiac. As if Xenos gallivanting about in your body was not misfortune enough. Did you so grossly offend every single deity in a past life that they saw fit to place a curse upon your soul? I don't know, we'll have to, we'll have to get my other shards from the other sources Forgive for me. that, or reflections. That was in poor taste. I recall vividly how battered and broken it was in the depths of Amarot. Would that you could have seen it with your own eyes. Mayhap then you would understand why the greater part of me is glad you did not. It was a horror beyond description. Promise me you will be careful. That you will seek my counsel if you feel unwell. Look, look at that. Look at that little smile she's got going on. Hmm? That oh, puts my heart at ease. If I was trying to take a picture and it just didn't. I suspect it will grow colder as the night wears on. So <sighs> do be sure to stay warm. Sleep well. May the shadows keep you. But now I want to know what the other five say. Though the whole knock at the door thing reminded me of what we were seeing. Um, uh, what's his face? The other warrior of light. Like show up and, and chat with us. A short while earlier in the Alamican court. Oh, it's going to be something with Lee, I assume. Or is it about to like explode because Thank of final the final days? That tower is gone. The sight of it was enough to make me sick. Hank the Ilsebar contingent, more like. Word is, they fought their way into Garlemald on top of the bloody thing themselves. Not just the one, neither. All the towers have up and vanished. Aye, I heard the same. Commander Aldin and his troops helped keep casualties to a minimum, too. But is it true they brought back tempered Gallian soldiers? As Commander Aldin tells it, they've a treatment for that now. But don't you worry. Cured or not, they've no plans to bring them into the city proper. I see. Well, that's a relief then. I know we've brothers and sisters among the lot, but I can't say I'm eager to welcome them home. Homest. Won't need to think about it for a while yet. They're to be looked after in Alagana for the time being. Who? What? Who do, who do we have there? What? Huh? 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 Meanwhile, in Ishgard. It's like invasion of the body snatchers. What's going on? Good old Ishgard. I feel like if I lived somewhere in uh, Ethereus, good dying or Ishgard would probably be the another place. Day, another commission of paramount importance. Oh, what have we here? I don't know, he doesn't look very good, though. Hmm. Hey, are you all right? Was that? No. The shadows play tricks, nothing more. The towers are gone, and the Garlean threat is abated. And yet, why does it feel as though it's about to get much, much worse?
I wonder if like tempering's just gonna get worse and more widespread from the other primals or something. Since things are off balance. I don't know. Well, that doesn't look good. That seems awfully bad. Kind of foreboding. Oh, music. Achievement unlocked. Hiya! What does that mean? Oh. Con yeah, okay, sure. I like this music though. Kind of reminds me of Tron. Uh, it's six, 16 though. I should probably eat dinner. So, I am going to stop for now. And let me think here. Stop for now. Um, and let me just look real quick. Let's see. I have at least one episode of anime that I could watch while I eat dinner. There's probably another one I'm not thinking of. Yeah, there's two at least. Three even. All right, Tombo. Um, yeah, so I... I am going to eat dinner and relax a teensy bit and everything, but I will probably come back later and play some more because that it's a good cliffhanger right there. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what we got going on. So see y'all in a bit. I will uh, I'll catch you probably in like an hour or something. I don't know. Wait, what just happened? Why is this black? That's fine. Wait, what happened to my... What happened to my stream thingy? Huh. I'll figure that out. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you in like an hour or so. I don't know. Something like that.